<laughs> What's up guys, we're starting the vlog a little differently We're in a car because I need to do a lot of stuff today Not really, it's just like a couple things But I have to go get breakfast for one Because I was going to wake up at, what was it, 6 in the morning To go get an early morning workout And yeah, that did not happen bro That didn't happen Ralph, why are you like this? Why can't you wake up early? I don't know guys, I procrastinate a lot, alright? So right now I gotta go get breakfast at 12.48 in the afternoon. I'm trying to get big in my gym goal, but it's not working out with the schedule that I have and how I eat and everything. So right now I'm gonna go get some breakfast or brunch, whatever you wanna call it. And then I'm gonna go check up on some stuff that I have to do, maybe get a haircut along the way. But the haircut is the least important thing, so that'll probably be the last thing, if not even today. I mean, I really need a haircut, but like, you know, I won't die if I don't get it and I have more important stuff to do. So, I have to go get breakfast. I have to go check up on some properties. And then, uh, and then uh, maybe I'll be able to go to the gym. Maybe I'll hit up Brandon or Ricky. And look at this thing. I refuse to replace the batteries on this thing on the garage door opener. Never going to come out open. Look, if it's one open, got to take it like 20 times. Oh, it closed. Why would it close? There it go. Now it's opening. Now we're on a row. So, yeah. That's what's going on today. All right, guys, so I picked up some breakfast. I got two tacos and a drink. And right now we're on the way to the first uh, property. The first property happens to be where I grew up, the house where I grew up, spent most of my childhood at. But it's like in almost in the middle of nowhere. You gotta take a super long road. Like there's nothing but like, like there's literally nothing. What's up with all those like trees? They're all dried. Oh, whoa, 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 what's going on? 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 Oh, we're passing these guys. Okay, let's pass these guys. You see, bro, I'm telling you, country out here, bro. So, I'm going to take you to see where I grew up, where my friends lived. Maybe not where my friends live. That's a little too too much information for, that, for people that I don't know. But uh, I'm going to show you pretty much around where I lived and the area where I lived and what we used to do, the fun things and everything because... Uh, it was pretty fun. I remember when we moved to this other neighborhood. It's a little bit nicer, a lot nicer, actually. But there's, like, nobody's out playing in the streets. Nobody's playing in the dirt. Nobody's riding bicycles. Nobody's really doing anything. Everybody's just in their house playing video games. They're, like, young millennials. We're all young millennials, but, like, no one's doing the fun stuff. Nobody's playing sports out here. Like, where I used to live, like, nobody had money to be, like, inside the doors. We got enough money to buy a $10, maybe a $5 soccer bar or football, and that's all we had. So, it was, it was fun nonetheless. Look guys, so we're here like on the main road to where I used to live. This is just like one straight road right here. And that right there is a church where like I went, I got baptized, I got, I got everything. My first communion, my confirmation. Well, actually not my confirmation, but everything like this is it, bro. And it didn't even used to be that big. They expanded. It used to be literally super small. Like, it used to be nothing. And out here, pretty much all it is is a country. Yeah, they got a Dollar General now. Before, before we literally had no Dollar General. There was no Stripes gasoline station here. There was literally nothing. It was just houses. And if you wanted to get any gas or anything, there was like a corner store. So there was that where they had a gas, overpriced gas because it was the only gasoline station here. But uh, we had no stores, nothing. You wanted to get groceries. You wanted to do something. You had to drive all the way into town which is pretty damn far to get all the groceries, get whatever you needed to do and get whatever you wanted to get. But since this is out of city limits, like police uh, don't come over here, like police, there's no police out here. So uh, when we threw parties, bro, it, it got pretty lit, but we did only about twice. And now we didn't do it too many times. So pretty fun nonetheless. Oh, you also see the border wall right there. Look at that. Look at that. That's the border wall, guys. That's how close I live to the border. Or if y'all are from Brownsville, you know how close we all live to the border. That's an ugly ass wall. Waste of money for literally no reason. No reason at all. Because there's gates that are, there's no surveillance on it. Like if I could, I wish I could show you one. Maybe I'll pull over on my way back. But literally there's just open areas where you can literally just walk through. This is a street finally here entering the neighborhood this is finally the street i think that might be one of my homies in that mustang i'm not too sure but he's an adult now everybody's adulting but this is literally the street no that's not my homie my homie can't afford a brand new mustang so let's see let's see let's see let's see 
We're turning up into my street. Well, not really my street, but you see my street. Oh man, these guys looks like they moved out, bro. I remember this guy had like a skateboarding ramp and we would come and skateboard here. It's crazy, literally nobody built anything ever here or here. Like there's just empty lots. Those lots have always been empty. I remember this house right here was my friend's, one of my best friend's girlfriend's house when we were in what, middle school or high school? And his mom, her mom, didn't allow her to have a boyfriend, obviously. They were still young and everything. So he would come, we would get off the bus stop over there at that stop sign, because there's another stop sign right next to my house. But we would get off at this one in the back. And then uh, what we would do is he would write a letter, he would go and put it in her dog house. Not only if the dog was in there or not, put it in her dog house and run out. That way when she got home or whenever she saw it or whatever, she would go grab it from the dog house and grab the note. Like, that, that ain't love, I don't know what love is. One of my best friend's houses live right here. I remember this lot right here, they caught it on fire, all that grass. I remember uh, they caught it on fire because we had fireworks and one of them crossed the gate, landed on the other side and it just caught fire. We got we got a water hose and started spraying it and everything, throwing buckets of water. We, we were able to get it off, crazy enough. And then right here, uh, an empty lot where we used to play soccer, we used to play football, we used to play everything. And this, this is my house or my old house. I don't know if anybody's here, but it looks pretty empty. Uh, yeah, this is um, this is my old house where I used to live. It's small, crazy small. Like if you would put your elbows together, you would be able to touch with one elbow, the other one side of the fence, and with the other elbow, the other side of the fence, which was insane because that tells how small it is. Uh, there's still people in there, just making sure. And then, uh, yeah, we had two acres. We own the acre right here. And we also own this acre. So I would have to cut all this, both of these, with a push mower. Because we didn't have money for a tractor, guys. A push mower. And I'm not talking those lawn mowers that you move on your own either. No, like, I mean, that's exactly what I'm talking about. What are you, what are you saying, Ralph? I'm not talking about those mowers that, like, walk on their own and you just stand behind them. I'm talking about the ones that you literally have to push. It was... It sucked, guys, it sucked. I absolutely hate it. Look how big this is. It's huge, yard is huge. This guy built a church here. They built a church. My dad wanted to build like apartments, duplexes, and that other lot, the empty one. And the city told him no, because they're not allowed to have businesses here in the residential area. Even though it's a duplex or apartments, you know, it's housing, they said no. So the city didn't give him permission to do so, but this man built a church why because a church isn't a business now i have nothing against the church because i go to a church and i'm a religious person but in all honesty it's a business like when it comes down to it it's a business because let me tell you that guy did not have a nice house when he started and he built a church and he got a huge house brand new cars brand new trucks everything so i'm just gonna leave it at that and y'all decide make your own opinion all right guys so i didn't show you the other place because i just drove quickly by there just to see if everybody's still there but the next thing is as y'all can see I'm in my room I got the old TV out and I'm about to put this new big TV in so the gaming to be a lot better but first I have to take off the wall mount and put the stand back on with this so that's what we're gonna do today or not today but for the moment don't make fun of my dirty ass room because it is a dirty ass room and no I don't make my bed when I wake up in the morning because I'm a lazy millennial cuz set up just got the old tv here got that there got that there got the big tv new big tv here with my xbox all i gotta do is set it up go find the other controller because this is a controller for this one and not the controller for this one and then we gotta see if it works and then we all good cuz all right guys i'm getting everything ready for the gym i'm about to take my pre-workout right now before i head out to the gym so at least i got a little bit of time for it to kick in and then after the gym i'm gonna go ahead and get a meal and everything but your boy looking swole your boy looking swole. Trying to get bigger guys, get better. Haven't been eating very well, haven't been sleeping very well. So, I need to get my ass on the ball. So, I'm gonna take some pre. It takes about 30 minutes to kick in. So, I'm gonna take it right now as I get the stuff ready. And then at the drive, that should be 30 minutes. So, by the time I get there, it should already be kicked in. 
and I want to have a good pull day, I'm going to go ahead and take my belt for the pull day. That's what some people do because you could injure your back even on a pull day because either you're doing back rows and you want to keep your back straight. And I do feel like a slight bother on my lower back. And I think that's because of uh, after yesterday when I was doing skull crushes, I think I was moving my arch my back. I kept taking my butt off the, off the seat, which is a no-no. So I think that's what happened. So I'm going to go ahead and get my stuff ready. The pre-workout I've been taking, guys, is... Uh, Ghost, the Ghost Legend, the Warheads flavor one, and I mean it's okay, but I mean it tastes good. But if you want to get something for the taste and not for what it actually is supposed to do, then go ahead and get this. But if you want something that's actually gonna like kick in and actually work, I would not recommend this. This is like a hit and miss with this. Every time I take it, like it could hit me, it could not. There's times when it does and times when it doesn't. I don't know if it's just my body because everybody's body reacts differently to caffeine. Now, I do not drink caffeine whatsoever. The only caffeine I have ever drank is in supplements like these. I mean, I do drink coffee once in a while, randomly, but not like every single day. So my tolerance for caffeine should not be so high, and I feel like it just naturally is. So, Ghost tastes real good, but it's a hit or miss with this one. Sometimes it doesn't work. And that is literally the only thing I take before my workouts is my Ghost. Guys, so I'm on my way to the gym, and like I took my pre-workout right and the pre-workout I says once take one scoop obviously when it says, it says we'll take one scoop you take two that's like an automatically you fucking take two scoops you always take more than you have to but I decided to take three scoops because I was like two scoops hasn't been hitting me fam so I'm gonna take three scoops bro I am fucking lit right now cuz like this pre-workout hit like it hit and I'm nowhere near the gym yet I still got to get on the highway I still got to get to the gym and I'm fucking ah, I don't even know what to do bro like it's crazy. I my my mind is blank. Like my mind is gone and my fucking blood is just rushing and pumping and I don't even know. Like I'ma fuck it, I'm gonna get off the car and just run to the fucking gym. Why am I cussing? See now I'm cussing so much, I'm trying not to cuss, but this this is just ah, I can't even speak guys. See you at the gym. Guys, I let you all down. I went in the gym. I just finished my workout. And I didn't record any of it for you guys. I'm sorry. I put the camera in the locker with my bag. And I started my workout. And it was such a good workout that I just didn't want to pull out my camera. But I did back pretty heavy weight. And then, uh, sorry guys, I'm out of breath. Because I, just, I just literally finished doing cardio. And I came into a car. But I did cardio. Right now I'm starving. So I'm going to go pick up something to eat. And uh, I tried something different. Instead of listening to my music. I put on YouTube and I started listening to Arnold Schwarzenegger and uh, just uh, bodybuilding motivation and it truly helped a lot. I recommend if anybody whoever's working now and you know maybe just listening to music isn't your thing. Like I know some people listen to music and they get all hyped up and riled up and that's not your thing. Try listening to some motivation like bodybuilding motivation. It helps a lot. I know it helped me today and without it I probably wouldn't have even gotten through my workout. But luckily i did and it was a, such a good workout that uh I, it was a good workout guys and maybe it was i mean maybe it was a three scoops of pre-workout that i took but i'm exhausted i'm hungry like starving hungry and yeah just listen to motivational videos guys that, that stuff is cool it's good it'll get you pumped like, I was watching on a shorts nigger and he said, if you want to be big, you got to dream big. And obviously, that's like self-explanatory, right? Like, you got to dream big, get big. And then there was others like, oh, you have to eat this many calories, drink protein this much, wake up at this time, and blah, blah, blah. And they said that that's all crap. It's all about how much work you put into it. And am I saying, like, they're wrong or right? I'm not saying that they're wrong or right, but they worked for them. There's also the Arnold Schwarzenegger one where he was like, what'd he say? He was he was like, oh, people say you need to get like eight or nine hours of sleep. I get six hours of sleep. And then people were like, whoa, Arnold, like I need more hours of sleep. And he was like, my tip to you is sleep faster. There's no excuse to not wanting something bad enough. Like that's you making an excuse for yourself. Oh, I need eight hours. Oh, you need nine hours. You don't need eight hours. You don't need nine hours. You need a minimum of six. Recommend eight or nine, but six, you'll be good. So that's pretty much what he's saying. Like, hey, you know what? You don't want it bad enough, then stay asleep. If you want it bad enough, sleep faster. It's not literally like sleep faster. It means like just wake up early, do like sacrifice those extra two hours. 
And uh, there is this line that Arnold Schwarzenegger said while I was listening to. I forgot it, man. If I remember it, I'll let you guys know. But for now, I forgot it. And uh, yeah, it really spoke to me. I was in there. I was like grinding. And he said, you can't just go into the gym saying you're going to lift, which is what a lot of people do. Like I done it too. Like we go into the gym and we're like, oh, we're going to lift. But it's not just that we're going to lift. It's you gotta know where you're going, you gotta know where you came from. You gotta be like, you know, I'm gonna go to the gym and this is my goal. Set a goal, don't just go to the gym to work out and not knowing what you're working out for or like what goal you're trying to reach because you're gonna stay the same. You're not pushing yourself hard enough. You gotta imagine it like, oh, I wanna look like this and imagine it and imagine how hard somebody that works out like that would be and go for it. I feel like that's like anybody, anybody would do that in any situation. If you say you wanna be rich or successful, whatever your picture of success is, whatever it is you got to visualize it visualize it and say like you know what this is what this person would do a person that would want to do this would do it and everybody knows what's right from wrong is maybe we're just like not mature enough or maybe we just make the wrong decision sometimes but you know what you're supposed to do and just do it so anyways let's go get some food because i'm fucking starving i'm also contemplating going to walmart and uh, meal prepping and getting a scale and everything and even though I know that's what I'm supposed to do, I really don't want to do it. This guy is not looking where he's going. He's about to smack crash into me. But yeah, even though I know that's what I'm supposed to do, I'm really not going to do it. Why? Because I'm a young millennial and lazy as fuck. That's why. I don't know if where you all are from, where you're all from, where you are. I can't even speak right now. I'm too tired. But here we have a Pollo Loco. I don't, I don't even know why I'm pointing it. There's no sign to show you. <laughs> um, here we're at Pollo, we have a Pollo Loco. And they have this bowl that comes with rice, beans, and chicken, and... A salad and what else? Avocado salsa. It's pretty damn good. I always get the double chicken bowl. It just has double chicken. It's explanatory. But it's pretty damn good. And it's pretty good. Like it's protein, chicken, carbs, rice, beans, more protein. Like it has literally everything that you need for a little bit of fat. It has uh, some cream. I don't know if it's cream cheese or what it is. But I think it's cream cheese for fats. Like good fats. So it's well balanced. It may not have all the calories that you want. Obviously, it's a set thing. You can't like really customize it or anything, but it's pretty damn good. I'm gonna show it to you guys when I get it because I'm gonna pick it up and then I'm gonna go out to see my parents and then that'll be it. I'll show it to you guys in a bit. Let's see what happens. See, let me order it. This guy's taking forever to order, guys. Yes, sir. Can I get the double chicken bowl? Double chicken bowl? Yes, sir. The, the combo with a large raspberry tea. Chips. chips. Yes, sir. And uh, some avocado salsa. Okay, two drinks, Andre. A large raspberry tea. Any salsa, sir? Yes, sir. Uh, avocado salsa. Avocado salsa. Yes. No, that'll be all, man. <laughs> okay, you should also eat. A Thank you. I have no idea what he said. I just understood A1780 or something like that. I don't want to make fun of people. That's my stuff. The lady was like super rude when I picked up my food. She did not let me speak at all. She was like, Ultimate Bowl. And I was like, Is that the double? She's like, Yes, yeah, Ultimate Bowl. And I was like, Yeah, but is it the double? Ultimate Bowl. I was like, Bro, let me fucking. I almost smacked in the face. But uh, whatever. The Ultimate Bowl is pretty much a double chicken bowl, but with a lot more chicken in it. So I guess it's all right. Uh, but here, check it out, guys. I'm just going to show you a glimpse. I don't want to take everything out. I already dropped all the chips. But we got chicken here. We got more chicken on this side. Avocados, rice, and beans in the bottom. It's pretty damn good. And she didn't even get me. Look, asked her for the salsa verde. She didn't even put the salsa verde in there, bro. This lady got me messed up, bro. I ain't even going to go back, though. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I'm kind of mad about that because then it's not really that good without the salsa. Whatever. I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to go back. I'm not going to get mad. I'm not going to throw a fit. This is go eat this and go see my parents. Guys, I'm back and we're finally home calling a wrap. I don't remember where I left off of my last clip, but that is all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you can, make sure to like. Always subscribe. If you can, make sure to click that subscribe button. I'll be making more vlogs, better content coming up. Be part of the family and see you all next vlog. Peace. Tell me, 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 tell me
my face Tell me that you love me Even if it's fake Cause I don't fucking care